Hi everyone. Um, name's Danny and I, I want to share a piece of information with uh, all of you out there that are curious as to how baking soda works. And uh, I've been using baking soda for six months. And what got me started uh, with baking soda was this uh, very nightmarish experience I had. It was a near root canal experience. Um, a cavity has just gone too wrong. Basically, I neglected for some time um, due to the lack of responsibility, you know, um, not maintaining my teeth uh, on a regular basis. Uh, uh, in other words, I wasn't brushing two to three times a day. I feel as though it, uh, it requires that much just to be able to maintain my teeth to a pristine level. It could have been something, um, my dieting could have been off. Uh, my sugar intake could have been high, but for a little while, I had to give up sugar. I want to say, for a period period of about two years, I gave up sugar, uh, not entirely, but just snacks, candies, um, treats, and whatnot. And I tried as much as possible to avoid it on um, in all circumstances. And what I did notice was that my uh, teeth wasn't he healing; it wasn't regenerating. Um, it was still as sensitive as it was before for a period of about two years and uh, that until I finally discovered baking soda and uh, did my full round of research and to find that people have been using it to effectively treat their um, bacterial bacterial infection uh, which is the uh, the process by which the bacteria invades the uh, the gum area and starts to eat away at your gum uh, induces a pain uh, attacks your nerves and that's exactly this kind of galvanizing sensation you'd feel uh, throughout your head it's painful uh, I definitely wouldn't want to even wish it on my worst enemy uh, but back to the baking soda so I started trying out baking soda uh, almost immediately I noticed the pain had gone away uh, and it makes sense because once your uh, the bacteria is exposed to all those baking soda which is primarily a disinfectant and we all know this um, it destroyed uh, the bacteria and I kinda sense this almost immediately because by the second day I didn't feel any more pain um, I, I started to use more and more baking soda in the fr within the first week uh, I tried a bit brushing twice a week and I noticed within the first week that pain had never came back and this pain that I have been feeling uh, prior to uh, approaching my dentist who eventually advised me to, to into a root canal in which I avoided at all cost. Uh, I'm glad I did because as soon as uh, I treated myself with baking soda, my life changed immediately. And and you know, I had to tell everyone. I had to tell my parents. I had to tell my friends. And now everyone's on it, especially uh, uh, the ones that were feeling, um, you know, feeling like it was a personal attack by bacteria. You know, uh, now it's, it's something that's completely preventative. Uh, never again uh, that I have to fear something as simple as baking soda and bacteria invading my mouth. Um, I wanted to post this because more so recently I uh, rejoined my um, sports club. It's a racquetball club right around the corner and I noticed that a, a group of people that I've been working out with for for quite some time that I have uh, um, you know united with recently again uh, they've never heard of baking soda. The entire people at the sports club, not, I want to say a large percentage of them, don't even know what baking soda could do for their uh, their hygiene. And uh, I noticed that um, personal advice and trust requires uh, is required in a, in a scenario where you want to help and, uh, uh, and relay this kind of message to the, to the people out there. But... Uh, for my personal testimonial, I don't want to say it's a holy grail, but for my personal testimonial, I do want to share it with you guys that I have been brushing with baking soda for the past six months. Uh, it's completely safe. Uh, from time to time, I'll even drink it, uh, probably about a teaspoon in my drink. And uh, what's exciting about baking soda is that I also use it as a, as a, an engineer in the making. I also use it in my hydrogen fuel cell. And uh, it helps me understand what the what baking soda does, and and all it does is it increases the electrical impulses in your body. Uh, it's kind of like upgrading your personal uh, computer with the higher uh, computer speed, and that's exactly what it does for you.
and to find out, and don't quote me on this one, but I'm quite positive that uh, baking soda is probably used in as an electrolyte in a lot of your uh, energy drinks, and that's the that's the secret that I I'm assuming they're withholding from us. Um, but again, it's uh, it's uh, it, it's promising. If you never want to have cavities ever again, that's uh, just go with it. Try brushing it. Uh, for the first day, if you notice any pain, that pain should be gone within the within the first two to three days. If that pain was severe, it, it should it shouldn't take more than two to three days for for that pain to reverse. Uh, I hope you uh, all the best in your trials with baking soda. Uh, oh yeah, one other information: I went to Italy recently, and to find that and to discover that they actually sell your sodium bicarbonate, which is the baking soda, in one of their salt shakers. So I'm assuming they could be using that as their uh, salt as opposed to sodium chloride in which we know that chloride is a as a cancer causing agent um, as a part-time chemist uh, I love studying so I'm, I'm here to pass those information on to you guys um, yeah wish you the best of luck so uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys uh, questions or comments leave them and make sure you rate it five okay we got to get this information out uh, spread it as fast as possible thank you bye